The next question for you is three alarm clocks. Ring the alarm at three, six, and nine, respectively. In sixty minutes. How many times will the clock ring? Will the clock ring together? Okay, the options are. A three times. Option B two times. Option C four times. And option D one time. Okay, so the question is telling that there are three alarm clocks and. All the three ring at three minutes, six minutes, and nine minutes, respectively. Okay, so in sixty minutes, how many times will all the three ring together? So what am I going to do? Is first I am going to find out the factors of three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty-four, twenty-nine, twenty-seven, and thirty. Right, coming to six, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. Then it will be how much children? Very good, thirty-six. Then forty-two. Forty-eight, fifty-four, sixty. The next one nine, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-four. Then it is sixty-three. Right. So here they are asking in sixty minutes how many times will it ring? So if you see here. The first common time is the eighteen minutes, which is ringing together, right? So, first, the three watches will be ringing the first time at eighteen minutes. Okay. After that, it will ring the second time, which is eighteen plus eighteen. That is on thirty-six minutes. Okay, so if you see here, this is the thirty-six. Then here again thirty-six, and if I continue here, so it will be thirty-three, thirty-six. So thirty-six. Okay, and this keeps on going. Okay, so the third time. It will be again thirty-six plus eighteen, right? So six plus eight, fourteen. One plus three, four. Four plus one is five. At fifty-four minutes, the watch will be ringing together third time. Okay. Now they have asked in sixty minutes, right? So in sixty minutes, that is in one hour, three times they will be ringing on the same time. Okay. So your answer will be A three. Clear, children. So, shall we move to the next one? Okay. So, here is your next question. The question says, "I am a multiple of 
23. I am an odd number and have three digits and have three digits. I am also a multiple of 7. Who am I? Okay, and the options given are 161, option B. 207, option C, 205, option D, 159. Okay, so here the question is asking that I am a multiple of 23, I am an odd number and I have a three digit number. Fine, I am also a multiple of 7. So, who am I? So, what am I going to do? I am going to multiply 23 into 7. So, 3 7s are 21, 2, 2 7s are 14, 14 plus 2 61. So, is it meeting all the requirements? It says I am an odd number. 161 is an odd number. I have 3 digits. 1, 2, 3. Yes, it has 3 digits. So, which means my answer is A, 161. Clear children? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. So, the next question for me is, I am a factor of 45. I am a single odd digit number. I am also a factor of 54. Who am I? The options are 7, 9, 5 and 11. So, in this time, the question that is asked is, I am a factor of 45. I am a single odd digit number. Okay. And I am also a factor of 54. So, is 7 a factor of 45 children? No, 7 is not divisible by 45. Coming to the next one, is 9 a factor of 45? Yes, 9 fives are 45, 9 6 are 54, right? So, this is the right answer, okay? So, shall we move to the next one?